Why would he leave you? Tell me why he would not leave you. Because you don't understand what a man wants. Because a way, which is even a major way, to a man's heart is what? Good food. Good what? Good food. As a woman, if you can't prepare good food for your husband, remain single. Remain single. Uh. Remain single. I'm not bragging, but my wife prepared good food for me. She needs time to give me food. Uh. Yes. She does. Even my game. Uh. Jesus. Good food. Is what matters to a man of heart. You must know how to prepare good food. Take it for me. Any woman that cannot cook is a witch. <laughs> she is a witch. You are a witch. Isaiah 119 says, if he be willing and obedient, if he, 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 listen, he, and obedient, he shall what? He shall eat the good of the land. He, not she. He shall eat. So you must know how to cook as a woman. You can't tell me no sense. You cannot cook. What, what are you, your wife? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister, please go inside. Have you eaten today? Yes, Papa. Is it? Yes. You have it, Larry. Yes. The last time I checked, we agreed that we are going to fast this Sunday. This is not the second Sunday. Yes. This is the second Sunday. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. If I heard you correctly, Pastor, who ordained you first? Who ordained you? Are you me? Me, yes. I ordained me. Yes. You keep lying against my head. Yes. I ordained you. No, oh, well. If I heard you correctly, you said the way to a man's heart is what? Is what? Good food. And you people agree? <laughs> because he's a man of God. All you do is yes, papa. No, papa. No, dear. No. Is, what, is the, what is the function of the Bible? So, what, so why? Why do you have the Bible? Anything you just come to the church and hear, yes, Papa. Anything he said, if you cannot cook, cook, you are a witch. Everybody say, yes, Papa. So, if I can, if I can cook very well and I am a prostitute, will you marry me? Because I already hold he said, food is the way to a man's heart, food is the way to a man's heart. So, I've already hold the way to a man's heart. So, you are trying to tell me now that if I can cook very well as a prostitute, you will marry me. Or I can cook and I don't have sense, you will marry me. So if a woman can cook and she's a prostitute, will you marry her? What if a woman cannot cook and she's the manager of a bank? All you do is come to church and you just come and say anything, anything, anything because you are wearing suit and tie, you wear white shirt and jacket. You come and you think you can just say, you say a woman that cannot cook is a witch. So you mean when a woman can cook, they can, they will not cheat on her. <laughs> Have you been to like? <laughs> How are you, my friend? How do you do, my friend? <laughs> they play. Some men don't even know the way to their own heart. Their own heart. They don't even know the way. You think food is the way to a man's heart? You think only food is the way to the master? Cook and don't have sense. And watch the way he will flee. I go near Faith. Oh, failure. The way to a man's heart varies. <laughs> the Bible has already given you all the things you should do. He said, respect your husband. He said, you should obey all those things. But there are some things that women actually consider a, prob a, a priority. We should not be considered. You see, a woman. Some women, because of men like you, any slight issue they have in their home, they don't run. They don't even communicate to their husband. Though. They run to seek advice from a friend. Knowing, unknowing to them that that their friend now, the thing their friend husband likes is very different from what their own husband likes. You see my problem with you people. 
That was the same way he was preaching. People were clapping. <laughs> Shut up that your mouth, my friend. That is the problem. Some men like innovative women. That is actually their, now their catchphrase with that. Some women, it's not their fault that they cannot cook. Some women, from all the door, from their childbirth, they went to a boarding school, primary school, secondary school. Immediately they finished, they went to the university to study. Some of them, it's not their fault that they cannot cook. But men like you make them feel like they're useless. Mm. Hallelujah. So the way to a man's heart varies. It's none of, there is no, there is nothing like the way to a man's It varies. Some men like their women looking all like, old, like young girls. Some like their women looking all covered. It is their problem. It's none of my business. So all this, the, the way to a man, there is no way to a man's heart. God is the way to a man's heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 But according to the Bible, the, God, the Bible has already given you things that would guide you in sustaining a marriage. The Bible guides you. The Bible has told you to respect your man. He has told you to honor your husband. He has told you to do this. He has told you to do that. But there is no such thing as food is the way to a man's heart. The Bible never said that. Did the Bible say it? Aha. Somebody say, aha. Hallelujah. So the way to every man's heart varies. But there is a guide to keeping a man. There is a guide. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is a guide. That is why the Bible says respect. Honor. Submit. Say submit. submit. Those are the guides. That is just the same way the Bible says train up a child in the way he should go. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a guide. Do you get what I'm saying? It's simple like that. But the Bible did not say this is how you will train your child. You must give him biscuits in the morning. He said train them in the way they should go. That's why the Bible submits, honor, respect. It's a guide. Not be cook. Not be dressed half naked. Man like what they see. Women like what they hear. All those things. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord for much. Hallelujah. Do you have any new comma in class? No new comma. Any old comma? No. You are old. For the past eight months, we've not had a new comma in this church. Jesus. For the past eight months, I've been, you have been the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. For the past eight months, the church building levy has been 720, 720, 720. Last Sunday, it was 725 because I think we had one person that did Thanksgiving. And that was why it was 725 because they did Thanksgiving. And now we still don't have a new comma in the church. And I'm expecting 720 or less. Daddy power. 